Hi, this is Geertjan. In this screencast I want to show three new things I've learned that can be done with the NetBeans Visual Library. The first is when creating widgets, what I've always done before is drag and drop them from a palette or drag and drop them from somewhere. But what I've learned is you can also create them by double clicking on the screen or just clicking on the screen. Single click, double click, whatever you like. As you can see, I'm doing right now. You can also see that, um, and this is standard functionality, if I hold down the control key, I can connect these widgets that I've created together. So that's no big news there. But what's kind of cool is when I start selecting the background, so in fact the scene itself, and I start dragging, this special rectangle appears. There's a default rectangle that can appear, but I've created my own custom rectangle. When I release the mouse, as I'm going to do right now, everything, all the widgets, in fact, within the rectangle are selected. Right now I have two widgets selected. And what I've done is, when multiple widgets are selected, after the rectangle disappears, so after I've done my selection, I've created a move provider that applies to the currently selected widgets and I can move them together as you can see I'm doing right now. I'll do it again. I select on the scene and I drag with my mouse and now I have three widgets selected and I can start dragging them together like this. And the final thing, so the third thing I want to show in addition to creating via clicking on the screen and secondly moving groups of widgets together is when I have four widgets on the screen and I again drag in the background and encapsulate all four of them and now I release you can see that automatically connection widgets are drawn connecting those widgets together. What I've done right now is just randomly connect them I have not set an order in which those connections should be done. Ideally you'd want a rectangle to be created so lines going down and across and up and back again. Right now it's random, which means if I create another four widgets on the screen and I enclose them in a rectangle, again you see the rectangle appearing like that. Sometimes, as in this case, you can see that a nice rectangle is actually created. The cool thing is also that now nothing is selected because I've clicked the scene again meaning that I can select just one and when I do so the um, alignment lines appear so now I could actually create a real rectangle with all the sides neatly aligned with each other which is a very useful piece of functionality for applications requiring some kind of geometric um, handling and modeling and uh, and things like that. Being able to do this could be the basis of some, some really nice applications. How all of this works? First of all, the complete sample is available if you go to java.net slash projects slash mb api samples. You'll see in that repository ending in 7.2 misc that there is a um, there is a folder in there in the misc subfolder called plotter. Once you get plotter what you will have is this module that consists of a top component with the border layout set on the top component and inside of it you can see the black dot graph scene create view so this creates a J component as always in visual library scenes we add it to the top component and in here what we have first of all is as we would often have in visual library scenes different layers background layer connection layer interaction layer but what's special is that in this case we have an action set on the scene scene create action and what does this do so what this does is we have here a widget action dot adapter inside of which we can have a mouse pressed or a mouse released so really this is the place where you can handle um, actions with your mouse in here you can see a, a check is done whether two clicks have been performed and if two clicks have been performed with the correct mouse buttons in which we are interested 
to the background layer is added a new child, which is our black dot widget, which has a number of uh, actions as normal with widgets in the NetBeans visual library. In this case, what's kind of special is that there is also an object scene listener. And in the object scene listener, what's special is that we are able per object to listen to whether or not there is a change in its selection. So if you can see here, if in this case, um, four widgets have been selected, um, then our multi-move provider is added as an action to the widget. However, if it's not four, but more than one, we have the multi-move provider as well. So we have the multi-move provider in both cases. However, if it's exactly one, then we have the standard align with move action. For the multi-move provider, we have our own implementation. So here it is, the multi-move provider. Um, when the movement starts, we look for all the um, for all the objects. You can see here all the selected objects, and we store the locations of the selected objects. When the movement is finished, we set the selected objects, and so on. This is all standard Visual Library functionality. That's the movement of multiple um, widgets, and that's also the creation via double-clicking. The final thing was the, the rectangle. So in addition to, if you go back to the top here, to having an action on the scene for double-clicking on the scene and creating widgets, we also have a special action on the scene, which is create rectangular select action. Now, if we were to use, instead of that, create rectangular select action um, and this uh, version of it, here we would get the standard blue background that you will get um, to select multiple widgets. But in this case, we want to do something special once the selection has happened. In this case, we want to create those connection widgets. For that reason, we've created our own um, select action, which consists of a select decorator and that's how you get this nice border, the create dashed border, thanks to the rectangular select decorator. And there's also the select provider, and this determines what happens once the selection is done. So first of all, we get hold of the rectangle, which the perform selection gives us, and we try and find all the widgets that are inside of that rectangle. So you can see here, we get the rectangle um, that consists of the bounds of the widget. And from there we can figure out whether or not the widget is within the bounds of the rectangle. Um, so then we have those particular widgets and we set them to be selected. But in addition, we go through a slightly clunky piece of code and based on, um, yeah, we create connection widgets between, you can see here, between the, the um, first and the second, and then between the first and the third, and we just connect them together kind of randomly. In short, that's how everything works. First of all, what I've shown you is how you can create widgets by double-clicking on the scene. Secondly, how you can move multiple widgets together um, as in one unit. And finally, I've shown how you can um, create connection widgets between selected widgets once you've stopped creating that rectangular selection. Once you release the mouse, automatically those different widgets are connected, which could also be very useful in larger geographic applications. That's it. I hope you find this useful. You can go to the website and download the sample.